Reseller Mom here and Marcy Kennedy for today's reseller news. And we've got a fun one today. We are going to go through a bunch of responses on how you could answer for the question you probably will get if you start doing retail arbitrage is, why are you buying all this stuff, right? <laughs> So good morning or good afternoon, Marcy. How are you doing today? Hi. I'm good. I yeah, I find myself when I'm in the store like scanning stuff, I I always come up with like a scenario in my head about <laughs> what am I doing with all this stuff. <laughs> yes. Definitely. So so uh we wanted to do kind of a fun show today because uh hold on real quick. There we go. Because we're fun. Well, <laughs> It's, it's a little bit different than your typical, you know, a lot of, lot of stuff with Amazon, to be honest, is pretty dry. You know, we usually are talking about like shipping supplies and stuff like that. But this is, you know, real life encounters out there. And I have to say, the more, the more I quarantine, the more I enjoy not talking to other people. I, I, know, it's so weird. I used to be such a social person. Yeah. Now I'm like, don't look at me. I, <laughs> and when I first started going out, like I, I would totally be talking to people and it'd be fine, you know, it'd be fine. But I, I get kind of tired of the same, same thing. People would ask me what I'm doing. And if I told them about Amazon, they would invariably want to ask me all these questions. And it's like, I'm checking out, I'm working. I don't have time to, right. to like tell you all about Amazon. Ask you questions or judge minutes. you. One of the two. Hmm? Ask you questions or judge you. Yeah. Well, and then they're like, oh, maybe I should do this. How do I get started? What's What do I need to get started? What, no. You know what I do when people ask me that? I give them your YouTube channel. Yeah, there you go. Go on YouTube. Hey, here. This is where I learned pretty much everything about selling clothes. <laughs> go to Lucy. So so today I we came up with a, we didn't come up with anything. I steal things, which is so bad. <laughs> hey, Nate. Hi, Nate. Nice to see you in the chat. Oh. How's your family doing? If you if you don't mind answering, if not, you can text me later. But I was thinking about you the other day. Uh, so so today we can we have a list of a whole bunch, and I've got to give a shout out to Hustle Buddies. Nate over here runs an amazing YouTube and Facebook group. So I wanted to just be upfront with where I'm getting these because this is how the show idea started was I was reading this thread and I was laughing so hard that I was like, we got to do a show on this. And uh, let's see here. It is from this Facebook link. And I did put that in the description down below. So if you want to go read the thread or join Hustle Buddies, I would suggest you doing so Aww. it is a great Facebook group. And uh, I've learned a lot from there and it's just, you know, just weird eclectic stuff that you learn from these Facebook groups that may not apply to you. But then, you know, three months goes by and you're like, oh, wait a minute. That's a good piece of information. I know. I now know. Oh, good. I'm glad everybody's doing better. That's great, Nate. So all I did was I went through the comments and I added kind of everybody's input, of course, trying not to duplicate where, you know, try not to duplicate and came up with all of the responses that people come up with with why are you buying all this all this stuff in your cart <laughs> <laughs> you will get it if you haven't gotten it yet you will get it so here's our reminder to like and subscribe if you're not already we do appreciate that and uh yeah i just kind of copied and pasted so i i thought these would be fun to go through and um, I guess we could just take turns reading back and forth and any thoughts that we have to, to go in on it. I'm claiming the cookies, though. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> well, then that means you got to start with the first one. <laughs> Price shopping. That is a really good one because secret shoppers and price shopping, everybody's used to people being on their phones. So mm -hmm. that's that's a good, easy one. I tend, I, I think I show my favorite one in the, towards the end of it, but that's one of my favorites to go to yeah. as well. Yeah. I like to tell people, oh yeah, I'm looking it up online, looking at the reviews. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had this one older man tell me, he's like, wow, you're smarter than I am. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. For consumption. That is, could be super funny. I remember one time I had 
bags of candy. It was like Halloween candy on clearance and they're, you know, down to whatever a quarter or something. And, you know, I've got like 200 bags of candy in there. and it kind of just stumps them. Cause then they're like, well, oh, okay. I mean, obviously if I'm buying food, it's going to be for consumption. Right. Right. Yeah. I tell them I've used the line of, Oh, my stepfather loves these. <laughs> This one's yours. Oh, sorry. My turn. Um, <laughs> someone asked me if I was really going to bake all these, all those cookies. I laughed and said, someone will. <laughs> yep. yep, yep, yep. Okay. So this one was probably my favorite. Look them dead in the face for a few seconds. Completely straight face, which is hard to do right now. And just say for some really, really kinky shit. <laughs> Especially if it's like an older person. I would love to do this. I don't think I could because I just don't. I don't have the time. But or the <laughs> I would probably start laughing. It would shut them up right away, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless if they were into it, then they might be asking more questions. <laughs> oh, isn't that the truth? Oh, my God. There are some. And I'm not against kinky stuff by all means. But at the grocery store or at the Target, like, that's not the place to really talk about it. In my opinion. I mean. I guess I, I don't. I guess there's no real good place to talk about it either, though. I'm trying to think like where that conversation would would be appropriate. Maybe at the kinky stores, but I love this one because I'm a hoarder, which I am. I just tell people I love my stuff. <laughs> I, I got problem. I, got a I love my stuff. <laughs> and I think the original question that I that somebody had asked: Are you was, buying ten? Why do you have ten of one item? And another kind of a smart, smart ass one is because this. they don't have a lot of 11. <laughs> Gifts for my team or students. That's a really good one. Mm -hmm. I use when I'm buying scrubs. Sometimes I say it's a gift for nurses that have helped my family out. Yeah. It's a gift for somebody, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Could be. It's always a gift for somebody. Yeah big family. So, you know, that's a pretty easy one to say too. You know, we all could have big families. I consider everybody here my family. Everybody on Amazon's my family. <laughs> I can never find these. So I'm stocking up. Mm -hmm. Same with great deal. I, I would just say, oh, these are on sale and they're my, they're my favorite, you know, I'm stocking up on these. Mm -hmm. Art project is good. Yeah. I'll use that. Sometimes I'll use um, that I'm donating to like my son's classroom or something. Yeah, that's definitely a good, good, uh, good one there. But I did with a lot of Easter stuff. <laughs> what are you doing with all that? Oh, I'm donating to my son's school. <laughs> you could also say it's for a Pinterest product because I swear they Pinterest has something for everybody. I mean, yeah, that's true. All sorts of stuff. And then just be like, it's for a Pinterest thing, man. I don't know. Hmm. Nate says, I tell him I'm a football coach. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah definitely. My boss or client asked for them. That's a good one, too, because then they just kind of shuts them up. <laughs> I like this. Ten is a lucky number. <laughs> yeah, you could totally be a little little strange. Uh, you could say, you know, ten's your lucky number, and I'm a hoarder, and just <laughs> get them to not talk to you if you think you're kind of weird. That's a... Uh, Sometimes I'm I'm talking on the phone like I'm scanning and I'm doing uh -huh. videos in the store and I know people have looked at me sideways being like who is she talking to? <laughs> Nobody's talking back. <laughs> <laughs> no good reason. That's another kind of kind of smart aleck one. I sell them. And then that unloads 5000 questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because the next one that they ask is, oh, well, where do you sell them at? Yeah. <clears throat> I am very... I will, you know, like Burlington and stuff. I mean, I'm, you know, if I'm using my resale certificate, I'm, you know, with the cashier, I'm very straightforward. So, it's yes, like no problem. And then I have to stand there for a half an hour for them to check me out anyway, because I have so many stuff. So we have plenty of time to talk. So, <laughs> so depending on like, you know, the environment, I... I don't hide it. Yes. I 100% agree. There is 
my my answers and how much I'll get into it will depend on what store I'm at and what I'm trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. If I'm trying to appease the people behind me because they're kind of being nasty, you know, giving you a right. pink eye while you're you're taking forever on checkout, then I might be more like, oh, it's for work or it's donation right. or something like that. Whereas if it's Burlington, it's like, yeah, I sell this stuff. And, and um, you know, if I want to talk about it, then I talk about it. But a lot of times I'm just trying to do something on my phone and let them work. Right. Uh, did we do donation? Um, we didn't. No, we haven't done any of these. I'm very okay. generous with my money. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Donation can can. I don't want to say get you into trouble, but I've seen other people that have said that they have replied with donation and then people ask, well, what are they donating to and or give them money to like oh. go towards the cops, <laughs> which That's people so were chuckling and say, we got sourcing money now, sourcing money. That's so sweet. <laughs> which I, you know, I do like when we do the toy, what is it toys for tots or whatever, whenever the charities come around for, for the holidays, I usually do some of those and we're donating throughout the year for different, different things. Right. For the family. So I don't, I don't, that's my least favorite answer out of everything. Cause I just, I don't mind skirting the truth, you know, like, Oh, these are gifts. Yeah. They're going to be gifts for somebody. <laughs> that's not quite the untruth. But, uh, you know, donations a little bit further from the truth than right. I care to say. <clears throat> I like it. It's none of your business. Mm -hmm. Now you'll be in it. Hello, Lorenzo family. Hi, how are you? I just tell them so I can scalp on Amazon. <laughs> oh, Aaron says, and hello, welcome to the show. <laughs> I just want your pods. That's a good one, Aaron. <laughs> huh? That is a what? Sometimes I'll wear my ear ear pods and sometimes not. I started to not because I almost got hit with with the pallet movers in in Ooh. Walmart one time. Like they come through, they don't give a they don't care if they run over the customers. <laughs> There's a million more. Don't worry about them. Yeah, <laughs> million behind her. <laughs> if it's coffee, I tell them I'm in healthcare, which I am, and everybody just nods. That's true. I've done similar things like, you know, oh, it's for the school or something like that. And, and people are like, okay. Now I do have to say uh, just a tangent real quick. I was sourcing coffee yesterday and the expiration dates on coffee and some of the candy I've been sourcing have been crud. Um, you know, I've seen some expiring in like December and that was yesterday. Wow. So just watch those expiration. <clears throat> I'm not sure where people are getting their stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I need to start doing my earbuds, Aaron. Helps me stay focused. <laughs> That's a good idea. All I right. like this. Who are you? Yeah. Who are you? Are you the shopping police? <laughs> Mind your business. That's another one I would love to say, but it's a little, little bit more than what I'm comfortable. I'm not there. Some of the areas I shop in are not the best places and that one could, could probably get my bucket <laughs> i wear headphones while sourcing so no one talks to me yep, yep. <laughs> uh nate says same here watch those watch those ex expir expiration dates oh expiration date yeah you are having a hard time finding them so you wanted to be stocked up mm -hmm. gifts for nieces and nephews yep a lot of nieces and nephews <laughs> holiday shopping early i this one's kind of been my go-to the last uh three two three weekends uh -huh. because uh it's all over the news that yep. they are saying shop early shop early shop early so i'm just that crazy hoarder buying all this stuff for my nieces and nephews shopping early man yeah i think i had about oh sorry oh i was gonna say I I had about 20 barbies on the on the thing and the on the scanner and they were like oh are you Doing a uh, shopping early. Yep. <laughs> I love it when they come to their own conclusions. I disagree. <laughs> exactly. I love this one because you want to. Mm -hmm. My money, my rules. That's a good one too. <laughs> I do have yeah. to say I've used the self checkout at the 
Fred Myers the last couple of, of times and I'm kind of I'm like <laughs> to check out a little bit more and more just not having to deal with I've had some really bad cashiers mm -hmm. like the Target run and of course the I guess you could check out by yourself. Anyhow, I've had some really bad cashiers from last month <laughs> that, you know, just destroy your product. I had one guy stuffing things into my bag and like destroying them. I'm like, please stop it. Please stop <laughs> crushing my stuff. <laughs> I don't know whose turn it is. Let them come to their own conclusion. Price shopping. Oh, there's a duplicate. I'll do another one. I just say I really like them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have 10 pair of jeans in that same size and color. <laughs> I just really like them. <laughs> Tell them you're trying to be like the Dugars. I love that. Yeah. Is it Dugars or Duggars? I can't remember how to pronounce I it. I couldn't tell you. I don't watch that one. But I've, I've seen her, you know, sometimes on the threads where she's packing lunches or something. What she got? Like 12 kids or something. Something crazy, yeah. Which I don't, I don't even understand. I think I would give up after, <laughs> after half a dozen. I would be like, that's it. I gave up after two and then I had a third. Whoops. <laughs> oh God, I had different plans. Start okay. coughing. Ooh, I don't know if I'd start coughing in this day and age. And just, I'm, I'm still like, I had COVID and I still have lingering effects that are just awful. So I don't know if I would do the coughing one these days. I just smile. Mm -hmm. I sell them on Amazon. WTF. <laughs> I like that. No hablo ingles. Mm -hmm. See, that wouldn't work for me because I'm yep. in Orlando. Yep. Yep. Aaron says Doug. Oh, Okay, so the, Doug. Doug Joyce. Yeah. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. Is this us or, or me or you? Oh, I don't care. I'll, I'll go. Boxes for Thanksgiving. I like that. Yeah. <clears throat> if you're putting, you know, if it looks like a Thanksgiving type of items on there, you can just say that you're putting together boxes for whatever. Mm hmm. Yep. Personal shopper. I like that one. Actually, I've, I've yeah. had that in my back pocket for the last couple of weeks and Miraculously, nobody's been asking me lately what I'm doing with all that stuff. <laughs> I've been waiting to use that really one. That's that's a really good one. I like that one because that's another one of those that's that's sort of the truth. I mean, we are personal shoppers for people yep. that shop on Amazon. That's right. Making baskets or donating to needy families. Mm -hmm. That's another one like, you know, making baskets for your family. I think we have the making baskets for military somewhere in here, too, but that's mm -hmm. along the same lines. Doomsday prepper. Love that. I love that one too. I'm a doomsday prepper, hoarder, wackadoo, <laughs> kinky. <laughs> doomsday prepper. There we go. You know, and, and obviously we're giving you a bunch of different ideas because it just, just depends on what your cart <clears throat> will look like. Sometimes mine is filled with clothes. Sometimes it's filled with soap. Sometimes it's filled with Barbies, you know, and so obviously different things are going to be more applicable to what's in your cart. If I say I'm a doomsday prepper and I have a cart full of Barbies, it's going to be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Not that, that you couldn't have fun with that too. The Barbies need a new home. <laughs> I like this next one too. Are you saying that? Or is it you or me? Um, I don't know. Go ahead. I shop for people that don't want to go to the store. Love that. Yep. And this is definitely one I use. I have a shopping problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just can't cast up a great deal. That's another one I like. Yeah, I've, I've used that yeah. one a couple of times. Kids birthday party favors. Yep. Yep. Party favors. That's another, that's a good one, depending on what's in the cart. Stacy says, <laughs> I asked a Walmart employee if they had a specific item. They said no. And they suggested I check on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. I love that, Stacy. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. Oh, um, sidestep here for a second have you been using the new walmart app since i changed it i have not been sourcing in walmart for a couple months now and they, my husband has used it mm -hmm. he was complaining i guess he was having a hard time to get the receipt to upload or i don't know exactly what it was and then um i've just noticed some changes on their website like when i go to do my purchase history you know to you know, recall the date that I bought it or the price or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's, 
different. But I did notice um, on the desktop, if you go under purchase history, I wasn't able to do it before, but I can now is I can scan in the UPC and it'll find that. Ooh, that's good to yeah. know. Yeah, so I don't, re I don't recall that being able to do that before. I could be wrong, but I don't recall it. So that is cool. Well, two issues that I've had is it's it's not really wanting to price check anymore. And uh, I still got to play around with it a little bit more. I did and have then, some price checking issues, I think, the last yeah. time I sourced A lot there. of times when I scan it, it will, you know, I have the item there. You scan it and it says items not in stock. Right. And I'm going, <clears throat> it's right yeah. in front of me. I'm holding two. Right. Yeah, I liked I liked it before, so I don't know what they changed or why they changed. They it. are rolling out the new plus system on some of the new areas. Uh, okay. So I just got the new plus system, but I I can't I don't have any delivery dates yet, or at least I didn't last week when I checked. So they're they're having some road bumps rolling that out, and really they should have rolled that out like two months ago, not mm -hmm. October. Right. But I'm not in charge over there. So. All right, personal shopper is my standard go to. With groceries, my go-to has been teenage boys. That's cute. <laughs> I like this. Why not? Mm -hmm. Kind of toss it back in there. Yep, or, yeah. yep that's I a good one. I don't use one. this one because I don't. I don't really want to talk to them. So, like, I don't want to initiate. Start a conversation. Have something that ends the conversation. But prizes for a raffle. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right. Raffle prizes is good. My boss is buying presents for all his staff's kids. <laughs> I'm doing the shopping and he's paying for it. <laughs> I tell them it's for Nonya. I don't know what Nonya is. Nonya. Nonya business. Oh, I love that. Yeah. My my kids use that too a lot of time. I'm what are you doing? Nonya. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Aaron says, should I not update my Walmart app yet? I don't know. That's such so tough. I, I've been like, I've had it up to here with updates. We've had yeah. inventory lab updates, Amazon updates, Walmart updates, um, be cool updates. My phone has been updating. Everything has updated. QuickBooks updated, my bank updated. And now they won't talk to each other. So I've like had it with technology. This totally month. agree. I can't get my phone to update. It keeps wanting me to, and I keep setting it up so it will, and then it just keeps saying it failed. So oh, I don't know. I have mine like freeze in the middle of things, and then I couldn't get it to focus and take a picture. I'm like, I bought the new iPhone 13. I paid oodles of money to, to have this thing, and it won't focus. And yeah, so mine yesterday, my phone, it just like, I was on um, the phone checking my um, credit card balance mm -hmm. and just trying to figure out when the due date was. And, um, it just died down just yeah. out of the blue. And I was like, oh, <laughs> not good, not good. So, yeah, I got it. I got it started again. Yeah. Nate says we're having that problem, too. The app will not show the hidden Walmart clearance. Yeah, price. yeah, yeah. That's what a lot of people are complaining about is they can't get the thing. And then good luck trying to get anybody to scan it for you. So, yeah. you know. I've been taking things over to whatever, like where you get your fishing license or the beauty counter or wherever there's like somebody that works there and asking them to price check. And then he also says we had to update the Walmart app. We got locked out having problems ever since. Yeah, it could be problematic. Here's the other thing that I've learned. I haven't tried it out, but the new Walmart plus that I just got into has the scan and go. So supposedly you can scan what's in your cart, mm -hmm. go up to the register mm -hmm. and send it to the register. But if you're doing your reseller permit, you have to go to the um, customer service counter yep. okay. and do it there. And people are saying that is working. So they can scan everything to the app, go up to the customer service and scan. That way they're not having to scan everything. So I'm going to try that out. I don't know if I will get to that this weekend or not we'll see hey drummer what's up how are you doing drummer okay where um, are we let's see um last one. Okay. Go yep that one's yours oh i run an e-commerce business and sell items online any chance do you know if there's more in the back i also <laughs> try and build relationships with people that i work where i source so good yes 
I have had people, you know, see me looking at the things. And this is if it's a reseller friendly store. So obviously mm -hmm. not Target, but if it's Walmart, you know, you can ask good luck at Walmart, though. But maybe like Michael's or um, Burlington. Yeah, something else that's a little I bit love my Burlington's. Uh, <clears throat> so I have totally asked, you know, especially on Walgreens or let's see here, Dollar General. Dollar General or Dollar Store usually has all their stuff out. Um, but asking if they have more in the back and that you're looking for a specific product, sometimes they'll go get more for you because they want to make sales. Different stores have different, different ways they're judged or whatnot. And some of the stores, if they sell more, they get a bigger bonus. So mm -hmm. they want you to buy more. When I go into Bartels, if it's something on clearance, which is they just got bought by Rite Aid. So anyhow, uh, but the manager there, she, when she puts it on clearance, she wants it all gone. So I know to go talk to her and she will get all of them for me <laughs> and get awesome. them gone because she'll get a bigger bonus. Okay. Aaron, let's see here. I needed to ask, I need a better app than Amazon seller one, one that has Keepa or CCC fully integrated. The rank system does not work. Okay. I use inventory labs, Scoutify, and then there mm -hmm. is a way to integrate Keepa into that. So that is where I see most sellers going. Uh, yeah. I don't, I really don't know of any others other than the Scoutify and the seller app. There's a lot of other apps out there. Some are better for books. Some are better for other things, but inventory lab is what I use to do all my inventory and you get Scoutify with it. It's 50 bucks a month. So well worth it. You have a inventory software and a, a scanning app. That's really yeah. good. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, so I guess Erin's saying that she, that you know about Inventory Lab, uh -huh. but it's not within the budget. Not within so, the budget. Yeah. Um, it's like 50 a month. That was one of the first things that I invested in. And it's, I just love it. So I don't know, Erin, I'm not obviously going to sell, it's not my job to, to sell you on the app or on the service or anything, but look at Inventory Lab as a whole and all of the services that they provide because you can do a lot of research on items. You can, I do all my, not all my bookkeeping, but I pull all my Amazon numbers through inventory lab. Um, it keeps um, like my inventory um, valuation is all through there. So it's got a lot. She has to keep yeah. it on her phone, but still have to do the extra steps. Yeah. There, there might be some other apps out there, but in terms of price, I don't know a better priced one that would be good for you off the top of my head. I would have to Google it. At the end of the day, when I jumped to Inventory Lab, it cut my processing time down so significantly. It was well worth the $50 a month. Yeah, so. I do all of my listing through Inventory Lab. Mm -hmm. And it just... It just does a really good job of like printing the expiration dates on the label, keeping it all tidy. You can do some manipulation to make sure you don't, you're not shipping to 12 different locations um, and just really optimize your time. There is a trial. I don't yeah, know. I think it's a two it week is. trial. I think it's a two week. Yeah. I would go for that. Yeah. But it's got, I mean, it really, Aaron, they really are, I mean, they're, they're really building it out. You know, they, mm -hmm. um, they just came out with um, unlisted inventory. So what you can do, I mean, you might already know about this and I apologize if you do, but for those that don't, um, I do a lot of, I have a lot of unlisted inventory cause I'm waiting for, you know, the prices to rebound or things like that. Cause again, I'm a hoarder. Um, and it just helps me keep everything organized. I know how much I have as far as valuation goes. Um, or I might have something like I might, you know, I may have picked up like maybe, you know, four pairs of exactly the same pants. And I only want to list two and kind of wait and see how they do before I send all of them into FBA. Um, so maybe let's say I send one to FBA, I list one merchant fulfilled and I just keep two unlisted and it will, it will connect me so that I know like when the one sells FBA, 
I can go in and say, oh, do I have more of these? And if so, where? And it tells me exactly where I have it and how much I paid and what day I bought it and, you know, things like that. So it's, it, they're constantly expanding it. And it's very, I love it because it's, it's simplified. It's mm -hmm. very simplified. It's in depth, but to do, to work the system, it's simplified. I hope that helps. <laughs> Let us know what you think after your two week trial. And if anybody has any comments that could help Aaron out, that would be good too. Uh, I think all the other scanning apps that I know about will have free trials, but I think most of them are between $20 to $50 a month. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad we helped oh, you yeah. out. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Buying for the office. I, I think I've used this one a couple of times. Just buying it for the office. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was still thinking about air. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay. Refocus. Um, I'm a real estate agent and I make welcome home gift baskets for my clients. That's cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Although in this day and age with the real estate, they might be like, well, do you have any houses we could buy? <laughs> no, <it's> like, <laughs> that, that, that might be opening up too many rabbit holes. <laughs> <laughs> Nate says great for A or B testing. Yep. Definitely. What's A or B testing? Like if you, you know, if you're testing, if it's on this listing or that testing or li one listing or the other, that's what I Oh, would like say. if there's like one product that has like two different ASINs. That's, that's how I took it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Clarify Nate if we're wrong. All right. I run a yeah, daycare. I did that, actually, yeah, I did that. Um, I had a couple items that had two different ASINs. And so I was comparing because, of mm -hmm. course, you know, if you have a lot of baskets available, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. I uh, run a daycare. That's a good one. This is cute. Have you seen Cheaper by the Dozen? <laughs> <sighs> Preparing for the apocalypse. First, I change my accent. Then I tell them I'm sending it overseas for family members. <laughs> I don't know if I could keep a straight face and change my accent. I could try. <laughs> oh, I went dark. Okay. Punch, punch it again. It didn't work. Are you light? Or are you dark? I don't know. <laughs> I can see you pretty good. All right. <laughs> tell them a hoarder, which we, we kind of already did that one. And Nate says that you were correct. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Oh, oh I've got a bunch of different things going on. I like that one. I'm reselling these for five times more than what I'm paying you, nosy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nate. Yes, yes. So Nate is also saying the inventory lab is great for helping you figure out, you know, where your your um, ROI is going to be better, either FBA or FBM. Totally agree. Yeah. And then Aaron says, been selling on Amazon for at least five to six years. And now with ADD, I hope the program works well for me. Anyways. Honey, I've had ADD for years. <laughs> I'm so ADD. <sighs> I'm a lot of things, but I'm definitely ADD. All right. You're up. Oh, uh, see, um, I just did. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is cute. I just didn't want anyone else to have any. <laughs> That's so mean. Because oh, I okay. am the girl that if there's like five things, I take all five. I don't leave one. Well, we're going to put out a disclaimer that if any of y'all get punched in the face because of one of these answers, we're not liable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Drummer says that uh, Aaron should try Profit Bandit. That's a good one, I think. I haven't, I don't know how much it costs though. So I have heard other people try. I am brand loyal to Inventory Lab. I don't know anything about anything else. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I shop awesome. for people who would never be caught dead in this store. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, doesn't that leave them wondering, huh? <laughs> How about a blank stare with no response? 
I say that I sell on Amazon. If they're really interested, I give them a little bit more information. If somebody is really interested, it could change their life. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. And I did that for years. And then I'm just, I'm tired. I'll do, I'll do that with, with, um, cashiers, but yeah, yeah. I just, most of the people that I meet and I, and I'll be honest, like I don't, I have a pretty cynical view on a lot of people. A lot of people, they don't want to work. They don't, they want things to, to happen and they don't, they're not very self-motivated and driven and that's fine. But Amazon selling on Amazon is not for the unmotivated person. No, you <clears throat> have to kick yourself in the butt constantly to get things done. And it is not easy. It is not a cakewalk. It is, it is difficult. It's and, tough. uh, you know, if they are struggling with whatever they're struggling with, then most people are, are not going to do it period. And, and that's okay. It's just a lot of people are like that. We are part of, I don't want to say an elite group, a different group, different that that uh, don't want to go to a dead end job and do the same thing day in, day out and be unhappy with it. And I think of us being happy like, with it. We're like the varsity team. I, I don't know. I think sometimes we're, we're kind of crazy. So, you know, you could call it the crazy team, the varsity. No, I mean, we like all of, like Amazon sellers in general are like the varsity team, you know? You have, to, like, you, know, you have to work and, you know, you, you got to go out and you got to practice every day. And we you enjoy know, the you hustle. Just, like, jump to the NBA. <laughs> we, we enjoy the hustle. If you don't enjoy the hustle, ain't for you. Mm -mm. If you like to go at a job and be told what to do in order to function, this ain't the job for you. Because ain't nobody going to sit here and tell me what to do in the morning. I have to get up and, and figure it out. So, yeah. Anyhow, I, to each its own. Christmas, Christmas is Christmas coming. Fun. Yes, I love that one. Uh, it's an easy one. Christmas is coming. Let them make their own conclusion. All right, we kind of did that one together. You can take the last <laughs> one. I send care packages to my son in the military. That comes back to uh, what's on oh, the car. Where is he stationed? <laughs> huh? Oh, where is he stationed? Yeah. <laughs> that comes back to what's on your cart because if it's a bunch of Barbies, that's probably gonna look a little or bras. Weird. Yeah, and bras that might <laughs> you might have to say my daughter and all that there. kinky stuff. <laughs> we are the ones with heart, Nate says. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I don't know. All right. My husband had a cart full of Barbies. When she asked, and he said, "My dad never let me play with them when I was a kid." <laughs> oh, this is good. It's classified. Yeah. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. I like that. I'm a shopaholic. Yes. Kimberly said, "She says I'm a personal shopper." I love that one. Yeah. Nate also says we even do through COVID. Have heart. None of your beeswax. <laughs> Don't get punched out there. It's kind of crazy. I have seen in in, re in doing our uh, and doing retail arbitrage. I have seen people get in fights. I have seen a lot of people steal stuff and like run out the store. Um, people get crazy. I I don't know. Uh, the holidays is really hard for some and. <laughs> It's hard for everybody. Let's be honest. It's it's difficult for everybody for various reasons and whatnot. So, <laughs> drummer says, "Say stop shaming me." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have that one. That's a good one. That didn't make it. I any love it. Way. That is now my new go-to. <laughs> stop shaming me. I love this. Ten bras, different sizes. 10 wives, or I likes to support the girls. <laughs> it's for my business. It's called Nanya. <laughs> so what's bad with that one is probably some people aren't going to know what Nanya is. I mean, my family uses it a lot, but like my mother would have no idea. She'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what does that stand for? Is that like an or something? 
did not shop the past one and a half years because of COVID. I'm restocking. <laughs> yeah, restocking. <laughs> and and you know some things like what what is it? Nabisco was on strike and they didn't make Peeps for a while, right? Peeps shut down. So some of that is is legit. I just sold out of Peeps. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yep. I saw peeps in the store, uh, Halloween ones, but they weren't, they didn't have enough uh, margins for me to get them. Yeah, I had, I had the classic Easter peeps. Just sold out of them. Hi, Craig. How are you doing? He says, Hi, Craig. I'm running a dam. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I am always tempted to answer, like, what are you going to do with all those cookies with another? Well, what do you typically do with cookies and act like it's a strange <laughs> question for them to ask. I like that one too. I could probably do that one. That's just enough of the, of the crazy to be like, well, what do you typically do? I say, I'm buying them for work. If they ask, Oh, what do you do? I say, I'm not supposed to discuss it. It's classified. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, that, or, you know, just say, uh, my boss doesn't really like me to talk about it. <laughs> oh, I gotta pay off these crippling student loans somehow. You feel me, Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> Craig says I have a cookie fetish. You can see it on my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Uh, my this, is it, this is my last slide. My go-to answer for me, this is this is what I answer, and I've just kind of kept to this one, is it's for a work thing. It's just, it's for a work thing, and I am really busy, like, doing whatever, anything but not talking to them, and let them kind of come to their own conclusions, whether they think it's for reselling or, you know, selling or gifts or whatever, and uh, I just don't have, like... <laughs> Let me, can I tell you my all-time favorite? Yeah, of course. Was, you know, I'm like, I love selling bathing suits. So, of course, I was in <laughs> Burlington buying all the bathing suits, right? And then I'm across the way at another store buying all the bathing suits. And this woman and her mom came up to me and they were like, excuse me, we saw you in the other store buying a lot of stuff. What are you doing with all the bathing suits? I was like, oh, we have such a beautiful pool. When my daughter's friends come over, I just spoil them. <laughs> you can get like, really creative. Oh. <laughs> I have to say when I'm sourcing in another state, especially where I know I'm not going to run into anybody I know, I'll get more creative with my stories, but if I'm shopping local, I just say it's for a work thing. And because yeah. chances are that I, I love I coming up with people. stories. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You can get some really wampers, wampers going. <laughs> really mess with people. Oh, well, that was all of the reasons. It was a pretty good thread. We were, we were reading yeah. through it and just having a really good time thinking about it and gives you some ideas on what you can say. At the end of the day, you don't have to say anything. It's none of their business. But a lot of people like to do small chit chat at the register. And you should have a couple go to's on just conversation pieces. I usually say, oh, it's for a work thing. Oh, do you think it's going to rain today? Or, you know, do you think they're going to win the game on Sunday? Or something to change the topic quickly. And I don't really care. But uh, I have two things, kind of the weather and, and the game, whether it's football, baseball. It doesn't even matter. Now we got hockey, too. So <laughs> sometimes I don't even know what game. They're like, oh, yeah, and they start talking. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Talk about something that I can tone you out and worry about my own thing because the checkout is where I'm trying to get everything priced and make sure it's coming up correct and all that good stuff. And the coffee that I was buying the other day to get the deal I needed to buy more. And anyhow, so it can be it can be difficult checking out and trying to talk at the same time while your mind's going through all of the prices. It's not just it's different than shopping for dinner because, you know, you got dinner and you're like, okay, I need chicken and rice and vegetables and whatever. With this, you're going, okay, what was the price? Do I have the coupon link? Did I get my snip snap? Do I have this coupon, that coupon? Am I doing the, you know, the rebates and this and that? Question, can inventory lab change prices based on your parameters? You can put your mins and maxes into inventory lab, but I don't believe they do any price changing for you. Once, once you put it in, it 
feeds that price to Amazon. And then you have your repricer either through Amazon or through another repricer there. <laughs> Nate says, what about them browns? You can, yeah. you can yeah. sync up repricers through with Inventory Lab if you want to put your min and max in there and save yourself a step in the repricer on the other end. Yeah. Nate says, what about them browns? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That or, you know what? Some of the nice things that I've seen people post about for this type of scenario is to ask a cashier how they're doing, you know, mm -hmm. or gearing up for the holidays or, you know, got some time off coming, whatever, just something to get them talking about themselves mm -hmm. and maybe help out. And then the best one I saw was if it looks like the cashier's having a really bad day, maybe they just had a really terrible customer. They ask the cashier what their favorite candy is and then get that for them to cheer them up a little bit. And really Aww. those small acts cost you what, a buck, two bucks mm -hmm. maybe? And let me tell you, being nice to the cashiers has resulted in some major couponing and discounts because sometimes they'll pop in their employee code or like, oh, you missed this coupon. Like it, it saves you money to be yeah. nice to people. Absolutely. Sounds like repricer work. And then, okay, Jen says, what are you doing with all those trays? I'm going to make a huge burn pile and light them all on fire. <laughs> They're good, the Barbies. <laughs> oh, <the toys. laughs> oh, look at her puppy. Is that a black lab, Jen? Uh, in my house? No, Jen's profile picture. Oh. Yeah, it looks... Mm, maybe, Our first baby was a black lab, and I miss her. My lab's sitting right behind me. I love labs. Best. <laughs> I like the bonfire. Can you imagine like 50 Barbies in a bonfire? I can't. Oh, remember. yeah. Aaron says repriced or that was the word I was looking for. I need to find one of those again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like be cool a lot. I haven't I tried like any people others. As well. And I've seen a lot of people jump around from uh, Aura. Oh, there's another one that's a little bit more intense than Aura or on the same level and be cool. And I've seen pros and cons to all three. Yeah. So. I thought about jumping ship for a hot minute and then I saw the other reviews for other things and, and stayed yeah. here. I haven't used a repricer in a while though. Cause I've, I've been so like brand based and I know exactly what price I want and doing a lot of merchant fulfilled. I'll just hold the item until the price comes to where I want it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Be cool has a free trial too. But yeah, when I was using be cool, I liked it a lot. So I just wanted to kind of end the show with a couple of like safety things. If you are going to be doing a lot of retail arbitrage, some of the things that I do. Oh, mini yeah. docs. Mm. Some of the things that I do is I got to, I got to toss a blanket into my car so I can cover up my stuff. Cause if people see all your shopping in the car, it might, might not be good. It might even help to get some empty, like, wrappers and kind of make it a little junky looking so it looks like your car's not one to break into and i'm sure i'm sure what what other safety tips do you have that we have you? um on my van it's got the darkened windows uh -huh. and i don't think i i know in florida dark windows are not a problem in other states i think that they can be a problem like to purchase it there i don't know anyway whatever but yeah so the darkened windows really really helps me um, and we've actually been having a lot of car break-ins in our area lately. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I think that people have realized, you know, we're kind of remote and, you know, things like that. And they know, I guess there's things to be had out here. So I always, at the end of, at the end of one of my sourcing trips, I always bring everything in. And even if I can't bring it up to my office, I at least put it in the garage. So it's locked overnight. Yes, we um, definitely do that. Yeah. We don't ever leave the cars stocked full of stuff. Right. And yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, that's probably about all I have. Yeah, I'm lucky with the dark, with the dark tinted windows, people can't really see, especially if I have stuff in the trunk of the van because it's too far down, mm. you know, that they really have to be like this and really look in to be able to, to see if there was even anything in there, much as anything good to take. I also, like, I usually seatbelt my, purse in the in the shopping cart and I'm pretty particular about that. I've had a couple people recently get really close like up in my business and really close to my wallet and my purse and I'm like mm. step back. Stop. Yeah. Take a couple steps back. I got a knife. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> I usually do. <laughs> I usually do. I know you do. That's why I said that. Nate uses comforters over your boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not very hard to take some towels, blankets, covers, whatever, and toss them over. Something to not make your car look intriguing or appetizing to break into. Aaron says, I got a lot of nosy neighbors and my inventory is often in the car. I put a sun or snow shade on the front or back. Baby shades on the regular windows. You can get an accordion style too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool oh yeah, stuff. I do use a sun shade. That is good. That's a, yeah. that's a, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I, I normally carry mm -hmm. my um, knife around, but sometimes I've done the, oh, where you pull a thing and a bad sound comes out. You can use mm -hmm. your car alarm what else like mace or something i might have in my car as well bear sprayed bear spray oh my god i'd love to bear spray somebody in the middle of walmart let me tell you that would, that would bring me a lot of joy but probably get me kicked out uh, i put these up while shopping in the store when shopping i put these up while in the store okay yeah she's talking about the sunshade and the baby oh yeah, yeah yeah okay I'm yeah. doing a lot of the, like, if I can drive and pick up, I like that too. If I mm -hmm. don't need to go in, I'm going to go do a pickup order after this video. Yes. Oh, and yeah, speaking of which, you got your time cut off. Yes. So I do need to wrap it up. He's got Nate two knives. Two knives. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do a wheeled man. My left hand would probably stab myself. I can only do one. But I do have, like, I got one on the desk too. <laughs> around the office. Yeah. It comes in handy. And then. I've had at the store where they're like unboxing and I want the stuff. So I'm like, mm -hmm. they're unboxing with them. <laughs> Let me help you get out. I've broken down pallets with people at the store. I need this third box down. Do you mind if I help you un unload your stuff? And they're like, okay. Mm -hmm. Free help. They don't usually care. I'm sure, I'm sure insurance and liability don't, don't want it, but. I'm oh, well. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, sometimes you gotta do, do your own thing. What was the other thing? Our state went to. No plastic bags, so I got to remember my bags everywhere, too. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing, too. Oops, I lost you. Hold on. Sorry, I had clicked on a different tab. Is that <laughs> ADHD? Uh, what was I thinking? Oh, yeah, yeah, the reusable bags. So, yeah, that's another thing, too, is um, I use those reusable bags. So, you know, I can come out of Burlington with, like, three big reusable bags instead of, like, seven or eight other bags so yeah. it makes for less clutter so i can hide things better in my trunk or in the in the way back bench seat that's a, that's a good thing too and you can also you know your reusable bags you can just throw another reusable bag on top of what's in there so yep you can yep. hide them with using those aaron says he also double reps the bag on the baby seat and clip it but under the seat itself then it's secure and out of you you can do that as well. And he also says throw clothes or a blanket over the cart when while shopping makes your cart less noticeable. That works in some stores like, you know, the thrift stores and whatnot. I don't know if I could do that in the Walmarts or whatnot. But sometimes if I'm doing like clothes, I'll throw I'll throw clothes over other items. If I'm say I'm at Walmart doing clothes and baking goods or something, mm -hmm. all the heavy stuff at the bottom, I'll I'll shop and source heavier to lighter. Yeah. I'll take my reusable bags and, and fill them up as I'm shopping. So like, mm. instead of it being obvious, I have 50 bras, I've got 50 bras in one bag, you know, and yeah. then that, yeah. So it looks, it looks better that way. With the new Walmart thing, if I can scan, I can scan and put them right into my bag and then just go and click, click, check out. Mm -hmm. I'm uh yeah, we used, we had um, our store here, our, um, we did a, when it first opened, it was a pilot program or something or beta testing or whatever. And it was a scan and go, but it was a store scanner. It wasn't on your telephone or it wasn't on your phone. It was in the store. And that was really great. Cause you could just literally scan and shop at the same time and then just pretty much pay and go. Aaron says to try it. I might, I might have to take a little blanket and throw things over, um, Nate says we do that as well, especially at Walmart to keep the resellers from following us. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I've run into others, but not, not too much, not too much. 
Yeah, Aaron says that sorting your cart with the reusable ones is so much easier. I totally, it, it makes it easier at checkout because I just will literally pick up a bag and be like, here you go, and then hand them an empty bag too. Mm -hmm. And then they'll just scan and drop, scan and drop, scan and drop into the empty bag. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I do that. And I also, uh, like, if I'm getting the whole case of something, I just bring the whole case up. Mm -hmm. and. They'll ask me, do you want this out of the case or in the case? Whatever's easier for you. That's yeah. that's usually my answer. Yellow Brick Road reselling. I think I'm the only Amazon seller around here. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not the only one around here. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one, but I don't run into others very yeah. often. In fact, I don't think I have, at least knowingly, you know, I'm, I, I usually I have, have head from down time to time. I'm, huh? I have from time to time, but not too much. I haven't recently, but I haven't been out shopping recent, you know, much. Yeah. So we'll see. Very, very rural, rural era of New York. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Well, you right. have your your um, people's coming. Yes, my Packers come at three. So I'm on Matan's crunch. I got I got them set up, and then I'm going to go do a return and a, two pickups. I got a Target yeah. pickup and a World Market pickup. And it is six o'clock my time. And I am done for the day. Nice. Have the rest of the day. I mean, I have more work I could do, but I'm not going to do it tonight. <laughs> There's always work to be done. There's always work. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thanks, we everybody. It was fun. Yeah, it was a good one. Good fun one. We will be talking and getting back with, uh, I'll announce it on Instagram, what our next show will be and when it will be, because Marcy's got something next week. So uh, we will figure I'll out figure something. but it's Q4 so bound to be a little crazy all right take care everybody thanks for joining us bye